skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a new one for you today. This is a new K2 Mindbender 96C. Uh, the addition of this ski to the carbon lineup in the Mindbender series is a very welcome one. Kind of splitting the difference between the 89Ti and the 99Ti. Uh, they're kind of hitting that 90 right in the middle with this 96. Uh, replacing that metal I-beam with uh, the carbon application that they use in the other Mindbender carbon series of skis, uh, and just kind of giving skiers more choice and just a better range of skis to choose from when it comes to uh, mid-90s directional all-mountain ski uh, that doesn't have metal in it. You know, the 99 for a big range of skiers is pretty cumbersome, so having something like this which is a lot more maneuverable and arguably more versatile, uh, makes a lot of sense. So they, this is an all new ski, really, really fun. We had a blast on it this year in a number of different conditions, uh, you know, throughout a variety of days. Really left a positive impression on us in terms of what a, you know, a pure versatile all mountain ski can do. A lot of the construction things carry forward to this ski. Uh, some new ones as well. We are built with an Aspen veneer wood core, uh, and then they use their carbon spectral braid to get the ski uh, its nice mix of torsional and longitudinal stiffness. There's also unidirectional flax fibers that go tip to tail in the ski just to add a little bit of stiffness overall. Uh, but in that carbon spectral braiding, basically they're using a cross-hatched uh, carbon application here of stringers. It's tighter in the front, the tip forebody, and then it gets a little bit looser and longer throughout the tail. So that gives the front of the ski more torsional stiffness, helps it get up on edge easier, so reduces the twisting while also keeping it like nice and flexible in the shovel. This was a really nice part of the ski for us, especially in softer snow, was the ability to, you know, engage into the turn uh, with ease. You know, it's a nice mix of that uh, easy flex in the longitudinal manner and then contrast that with a little bit stiffer in the torsional. And then you kind of get the opposite with the tail where it's, um, you know, it's a stiffer fore aft flex and then it twists nice and easy. So it gives you more playfulness out of the tail. So nice firm initiation in the tip, good grip underfoot, and then a nice playful end in the tail. Um, like the 90C that's been around for a while, this is a kind of a mix of sidewall and cap. So when we look at profile, they kind of do a nice job of having it, having the rocker line up pretty well with where the sidewall ends, uh, giving you, you know, more grip underfoot and then tapering to more playful in the tips and tails. That's kind of a mark of the carbon skis, you know, when we're in the TI version of the Mindbenders, it's full sidewall tip to tail. Uh, allowing for better on-trail performance, but this one has a nice mix of those attributes. This is the 178 uh, on the scale at 1,852 grams, so kind of in that middle zone. Uh, I think the flex and the swing weight in the tips and tails really helps this thing feel a bit lighter than that number may indicate while keeping it pretty firm and square underfoot. Uh, the other thing that they're using this year is a new bioresin, so uh, just a different glue that they use that has better bonding properties, uh, also is more eco-friendly. So anytime you can combine those things, I think that that's a win without losing performance. Uh, and then from a profile perspective, we still have that nice positive camber underfoot, nice energy built into the ski, and then a pretty long rocker profile here. When you, when you decamber it, you can see it kind of pop out a little bit lower than where the sidewall starts, but if you just leave it alone, uh, that rocker starts about here and the taper starts about where the color changes from brown to dark. So widest part of the ski brought down a little bit, but not too much. That kind of keeps a little bit of the directional mentality right in the fold. And then kind of a longer, lower tail rocker a um, little bit more splay than we see in the TI versions, giving this thing just slightly more off-trail personality and character. And then not a ton of taper, although it's nice and round and pretty consistent. It's not a, you know, uh, a striking part of the ski's overall personality, 
but it does help keep it more firmly rooted into uh, that playful all mountain category. But great addition for K2, getting this 96C into the Mindbender line. Um, big range of skier, you know, anywhere from uh, that kind of beginning intermediate who's looking for a wider bodied ski all the way through, you know, a lighter weight expert who maybe just doesn't want to put in all the work required from uh, a 99Ti or a heavier, burlier ski in this mid 90s range. So big, big uh, group of skiers will benefit from this. Great in the soft snow, you know, there are better carving options out there, but for a mix of conditions, terrain and attributes, I think that this thing uh, should make a lot of people really happy this year. Big range of skiers. Uh, make sure you check this all new 2024 K2 Mindbender 96C out here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye!